Jeremy Fletcher uses his phone to take pictures of the countryside, even in his lunch hour. But it was while he was taking an evening stroll on the seashore at Snettersham in Norfolk that he noticed a godlike figure staring back at him from the clouds. Divine proof, maybe? After the first two or three, I, I looked at what I had on my phone and I couldn't believe the image that was on there. It was so clearly a face in the sky looking straight back at me. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that I, a living God, never ever intended that my own people would grow stagnated and dulled, and thereby not pay heed to me. That is, that they would find their rut wallow in the same, and there remain. But I say that I've intended that my people would remain alert and alive in me, ever seeking to follow after me. For I say, when I give the call to those who are my disciples, they are men to forsake all to follow after me. Now that following means that they continue and continue and continue in the way that I provide for them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving forth the call to all men to repent, that they would indeed follow after me. That is, that they would be coming forth uplifted in that which I give them, which is the truth always. But I say when a people will grow content in their rut and wallow in the same and be stagnated and dull towards me, then I say they are perturbed at the moving of my spirit. That is, they do not want to move with me to, to remain under my spirit mind, but rather they prefer their rut. Now I say it is one thing to be caught in a bog and be able to grab the rope of hope and be set free. It is another thing to love the bog. For I say when a man will love his wallow, when he will love his pit, when he will love the place he has settled for because he has grown stagnated, then I say that he stops following me. That is, he is irritated at the thought that he would indeed have to move from me to move with me and pay heed to my spirit mind. Now I say that I, the living God, do see multitudes, endless multitudes, who are bound in such places, and I say that I'm calling for them to repent. That is, I'm giving forth the call that they would indeed turn from the same and be brought forth in me. And I say that I'm desiring that the ones who love me would love me with all of their hearts and remain ever alert in me. And I say if a man can truly perceive that he's grown stagnated, then I say that he's meant to repent and continue to follow me. That is, he's not meant to give in to the stagnation, to the rut, to the pit, and remain in the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will indeed accept the repentance of those who are true unto me. That is, if a man will see the error of his way and return to me in full repentance, then I say that he's found accepted by me. But I say that if a man will prefer his rut, will prefer his wallow to what it is that I provide, such a man is a fool. For I say that he's giving up, being led by my spirit to find a place in the flesh where he thinks he will be contented. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to stop in following me, to stop in being in obedience unto me. But I say that I've called my people to be coming forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. And I say that I've called my people to continue in the course that I've set before them, ever make glad that it is me that they serve. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way of repentance revolution. And I say, when men will truly see the error of their way, will see they have settled for a rut, have settled for a bog, rather than continuing to follow, and they are indeed repentant over the same, then they can be restored to me. But I say, when men who are found in that condition 
will wave away, my spirit will refuse to obey the commands of the saint and follow me, then I say they remain in the place of stagnation and dullness. And I say they only grow deader by the day, and I say that their hearts stray farther from me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God never called my people to be dead and stagnant, to be dull and dumb, but I say that I've called my people to be alert and alive and attentive unto me. That is, I've called them to walk uprightly, to be coming forth, ever directed and corrected by me. Now I say this day when a people are willing to repent, to keep on moving forward, to keep on following after, then I say they stay alive in me. But I say when men will grow confident of where they are at and be content in the same, then I say they are dull and stupid, dumb, because they are not following me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God never ever intended that my people would be stagnant and dull, but I say there are multitudes who are. And I say it is because they do not want to truly serve me in the obedience that I require and desire of them. But I say they want to have it their way even if it means they get in a rut and stay there rather than obey the commands of my spirit. For I say the commands that I give forth through my spirit will keep a man alert and alive in me. But I say when a man has found the rut and he wallows in the same, then I say that somehow he finds his contentment in the misery. But I say when a man will be willing to abandon himself unto me, then I say he's made alive in me. Now I say this day that I the living God am at this time calling for all men to repent, and yes, they are needy of the same. And I say, when men will grow resentful towards repentance, that shows they are desperately, desperately needy of the same. Now I say, this day that I am living, God never called thee to be resentful, but I say that I call thee to be thankful unto me. That is, I have called thee to be thankful that you can indeed be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I've called thee to be thankful that I will indeed purpose, instruct, and guide thee forth. For yes, indeed, you are meant to keep serving me. And yes, you are meant to be in obedience to what it is that I desire and require each and every day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my own people would learn their lessons and walk in the same being instructed in my life. And I say that I do intend that the ones who serve me would do so each and every day that they can indeed be brought forth in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when you cleave to the truth of who I am, then you are uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. And yes, you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety, because it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give to you the same. Therefore, I say this day, be glad that each and every day you can be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in me. And I say, be thankful that each and every day you can be purposed to be directed in the truth, the life, the strength of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who shows to my own that I am indeed well able. Therefore I say this day be thankful to follow the mind of my spirit, to be subject unto me, and to walk in my way. And I say be thankful that I will purpose, direct, correct, and instruct you, for yes, indeed, it is me you are meant to please. That is, you are not meant to be wallowing in that which I, the living God, never intended for my own, then wonder why you are in the misery of the saint. That is, because you have chosen a way apart from me, and you have detoured from following me. For I say that I give the call, and men follow me in the beginning, then I say they turn aside to another way. And all the while they convince themselves they are all right, but truly they've grown stagnated, dull and dumb. And I say they refuse to allow my spirit to lead them forth in the newness of life that I continually want them to have. But I say when a man or a woman will cleave to me, will obey me and come forth in me, then they are guided forth by me. Now I say this day count it a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on receiving, to keep on following after. 
And I say, count it a privilege to be knowing that in me you are given the blessedness time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the life source. It is me, the living God, who is the mercy, the truth, and the hope always. And it is me, the living God, who will be with thee to guide you in that which I intend for my own. Therefore, I say, count it a privilege to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on hoping in me. That is, do not be as the foolish, the wayward, the ones who are far from me and are overwhelmed in the same. But I say, be as the upright who come forth ever believing, receiving, and being guided forth by me. For I say, when you will indeed be thankful for the leading and the guiding of my spirit, then I say, you will be full of the newness of life that I provide. But I say, when you decide in your mind to take another way, then the way that I intend, then you are, of course, separated from me. I say, this day do not choose the way of separation, but I say, choose the way of consecration unto me. That is, by ever trusting, believing, and hoping in me, for I am thy God. And I say, when it is me that you will indeed serve in repentance, revolution, each and every day, then you are kept in my way. For I say, you will be humble enough to receive the instruction, the direction, and the correction given by my Spirit to guide you forth. I say this day that I will have been God and full of life, I am full of truth and loving kindness to all who cleave to me. That is, the ones who will believe and receive of me will be thankful for the same. For I say, when a man will perceive that it is me that gives him eternal life, then he is ever directed in me. And I say, when a man will perceive that he's given the truth and the light, I say, be thankful each day. Now I say this day that I will have been God to intend that you would indeed be looking unto me, believing in me, and trusting always in me. For I say it is me that have been God who is the life source, it is me that have been God who is the mercy and the truth provided for those who believe upon me. That is, the ones who are ever thankful, the ones who are ever attentive, and the ones who are in obedience to me are the ones found pleasing me. But I say that the ones who find their ruts then are indeed angered at me because I desire them to keep following me, such ones are fools. For I say when a man will settle for stagnation and dullness rather than the newness of life that is found in my spirit, I say such a man is a fool. For I say that he's choosing that which is comfortable and pleasing to his flesh above that which is my spirit mind. I say that I, the living God, never called my people to be dull and dumb and stagnated by their choices against me. But I say that I've called my people to continue to choose me, that they do not lose me and live afar off from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do give to the ones who will be serving me the way of eternal truth, the way of glorious light, and the way that is peace provided. Therefore, I say, be thankful each day that you can live in repentance, revolution, that you can live in the way that I give thee, which is newness of life, that you can indeed be brought forth ever knowing that I am the one who is caring for thee, that you can be brought forth ever knowing that I do direct, correct, and bring me forth. I say, this day do not be under the fierce anger of demons and likewise devoured by them. But I say, be refuting and rebuking those unfruitful workers of darkness, not being a host for their parasitic actions, but rather realizing that you are in the war against the forces of darkness, and you are not meant to succumb to the same. But I say, you are meant to continue in repentance, revolution, the humility way of life that I provide, that you can indeed be alive and alert in the spirit, obeying me, coming forth in the blessedness of who I am. Therefore, I say, be thankful for the privilege to believe, receive, and come forth in me. And I say, be thankful that I am indeed the one who gives to the newness of life as you continue to obey and allow yourself to be guided in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, the more that you are alert in me, the more you gain in my way. 
I say this day be thankful to be guided, directed, and corrected each day. That it is me, the loving God, who does care for thy soul. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.